Welcome back everybody, this is Jester9090 and today we're playing Firewatch and I had been waiting for it to play this game even though I didn't have the chance to do it but now I do I know little details about this game that you're a forest ranger I'm, I'm not really sure, you're just you're just, uh, just a ranger that's all I know, I don't know what it's about so yeah, I've been hearing it's, it's good game it's really a sus um, really a tense as well, and I don't know. Kind of, it kind of reminds me of Life is Strange. It kind of reminds me of it. Listen, let's play a new game. All right. You see Julia. Uh, is that something? Oh, I have to click it. What the fuck? You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with your well-dressed prof uh, professor and grab student of the nearby CU bol uh, Boulder. You, Henry, are you drinking with your pals? You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> you are drunk! <laughs> so, with your, you know, major, you, you're pretty. <laughs> oh, listen, let's do this. You slur the word major, and it smells like coarse. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary, yeah, I can't pronounce it. Biology, she says, I am a professor. Cool, you replied. What's yours? She asked. She sniffs the air. Texology. <laughs> oh, let's put that. Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feeling, she asks you if you want to spit, uh, spit a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Motherfucker is lucky. Oh, we're starting right away. Uh, pick up backpack. Okay then. Uh, where am I? Is this the Rangers headquarters? <laughs> this is a, it's it's kind of empty. It's really empty. It's, it's only my truck. How late? How late? You dated for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out at the, on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants a dog. There's a scuffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring bring it with her to class. There's also a intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Alright, let's see, uh... Let's get rid of the beagle, she... Uh... <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of the beagle. Buck is a good dog. A week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. <laughs> the German Shepherd. Julia loves him. You love him, too. 1979. You, you talk on the deck. It's summer, 9:30 p.m., and you and the heat still radiates. 
off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asked. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you if you and I had some couple little idiots <laughs> no, one day, why rush? <laughs> that would be good I think that would be pretty good. Alright, let's see. I I pick that would be pretty good. I just I don't wanna make her angry. She might get angry. She might have kids. She might be pregnant already. Maybe that's why she's asking the question. So yeah, let's give her that. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that too, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. Yo, uh, why the fuck I say yo? <laughs> you say she absolutely right. Okay, it's kind of weird. We got this dialogue, then we got this in the middle of the fucking forest. We, we were in the parking lot. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Let's see. No fireworks. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Means you're in the country with a bear. Let's see. Supply drop. There's a supply drop here. Uh, oh, there's a lookout. Let's go. It's fucking weird. What the hell? <laughs> 1980s! It's Thursday night and Julia isn't is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried. And getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignored her. I get mad. I want to know where she was at. You call her and it. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! You call her an inscriminated asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her. Uh, it hurts her feelings. Whoa. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. He pulls like a flex, like He-Man. Yeah, like He-Man. You look awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Where the fuck am I going? Am I hitchhiking or am I doing my job? Look at the way I'm walking! <laughs> oh. Can I run? I cannot run. Where the hell am I going? It's so weird! What's that? Two forks. Fire lookout. Eight miles still. Holy shit! Space to... Oh, let's jump over it. Nineteen eighty-two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There is a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them try to mug you with a knife. Oh shit! Bucket gets kicked. B -b 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 Fuck the dog! <laughs> Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I will beat the shit out of him. Your arm gets cut up, but you still beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from the day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either? From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids. Way late by work. 
Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is a consecute 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Oh, man. This is her dream job. She wants to go here. Oh, shit. Okay. Agreed if she commutes to back and forth. Oh my god. A thousand miles away. If I tell her to stay, she's gonna fucking leave me. Agreed if she commutes. Yeah, let's do that. You ask her if she could commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it will be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost a colleague for borrowing a book that were important to her research. Oh. She got kicked out because her colleague uh, was borrowing it? Yeah, she was borrowing a research. Fuck. She didn't remember. Okay. She didn't remember. She had happily loaned them to him just two days period. She was found crying in a stairwell. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Try out. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, you are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Uh, she has 41. Oh, she's 41. You both decided to keep it a secret for now. Yeah, I have a hard time pronouncing some words, man. Uh, I am fucking stupid. Journal. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Why did she turn it in? Buck is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over, for no particular reason, and it has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Someday, you get Julia who calls you on. You ad ah, Okay, let me start over. I, <laughs> uh, someday, you get, you get Julia who calls you a dope and you are unborn child little idiot. What the fuck? Other days you get you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed and makes love. After five minutes she gets into panic believing her dad is at the door. Wait, what? <laughs> she thinks in a college or what? A teenager? You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to Ah uh, she <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. I get lost. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, her friends come by with the little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Wait, how worse? 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere within 24 hours care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Okay, these are hard choices. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. Um... I think I should move her to the facility because if 
if I'm supposed to take care of her, I have to. Does my guy work? Yeah, he has to work. He can't look after her. She might, she might die. She might, she might die. Oh, yeah, so, somehow she could get in an accident or she forgets something in the middle of the road or she gets out of the house. Yeah, let's take her to the facility. It, it will, it will keep an eye on her. Okay, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, we are going through the woods again. I do not know what's going on. He's just telling his story. Or I'm making his story. Making his choices. Oh, hello there! Wait, wait, where are you going? I'm a friend! I'm a friend! Her family agrees with your decision. You find it a fantastic place in the boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every day? Every other day, I mean. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, If you ever put me home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. <laughs> oh shit! You so no, you slowly decide not to see your old friend that much. Julia's sister Susan moved to the boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. She you go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You always re you always really like Susan. Okay. I... Once goes by. Bucket died. Ah, fuck! The dog died! <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't wanna remember or talk about it. <laughs> Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Oh my god, this... This is depressing. This is so depressing. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, sometimes it takes her a minute to lock you. Lock on you. In you. What the fuck? In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming. And you see an ad in the paper for a job. Oh, this is where I be a ranger, isn't it? You take it. This is really depressing. I just... It's just the dog. <laughs> I, oh, I'm, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> because my dog is old too. I just, I just don't wanna... I just don't want to talk about it. I just don't want to remember. <laughs> okay, this... How many days it took us to come over here? What the fuck? Like, four or five days? What the f... How far? Okay. I am really determined to be a ranger. Turn on the power. Is this the power? Yeah. Okay then. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Left click. I'm holding left click. Oh, shift. I don't know why I say click. Alright. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Sleep? Forever? 
Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, that's... You kill three ex-husbands. What the fuck is are these questions? <laughs> you kill three ex-husbands. Nobody, uh, nobody back home can You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Oh shit, I'm supposed to click something. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Is that Close. it? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job.